Hi, I'm David Kellett, I'm an osteopath. People often ask me what is osteopathy and it's a kind of difficult thing to explain. Um, it's a holistic therapy um, where you use your hands to help people to get better from injuries, illnesses um, and you know all the stresses and strains of everyday life. And how does that work? That's what people want to know. Um, well, the way I look at it is that the body is fixing itself all the time. Um, there are so many different systems in the body which are controlling themselves, regulating, finding um, a different kind of optimal balance from moment to moment as we live our lives. And what happens if one of those control systems goes wrong? You know, it stops being an optimal balance. Maybe your body is still believing that it's an optimal balance, but it's not. It's actually started to dysfunction somehow. That's when we become ill. Now, there are various ways that the body regulates itself. It regulates itself through the nervous system, for instance, and through the hormonal chemical systems, which obviously are conducted by the blood supply. That's how the chemicals are carried around the body. As an osteopath, what you're looking for is how the, the structure of the body has been altered, um, how you've twisted, turned, and injuries knocked you in a certain way so that you've become stiff or locked in a certain position, say. Now, if you do that, what happens? The nerves in here start to become irritated. Um, they're no longer working at optimum. You can feel that in terms of pain, um, which in this area could spread down your arm, for instance, or into your chest, or up into your head. Um, but if it was further down in your body, um, in um, the nerves, say, in your low back, you could get pains going down into your legs. But also if the nerves that are affecting your insides, your internal organs, are becoming irritated, then those internal organs won't function as well as they should, which will give you symptoms. So as an osteopath, we're listening to what the symptoms are, what the discomfort that the individual is feeling. Um, or, and from that, you're working out what organs, what muscles, what joints, what nerves might be implicated. And then you're looking at how is the body shaped, um, what are the problems that you can see in the structure of the body, and then putting that together with the symptoms, you're looking at, well, how are the control systems upset? How in this individual can I map out how the structure is affecting the function of the body and causing the symptoms? And really after that, it's quite simple. Really what you're doing is using your hands to um, normalise the body, to bring it back into balance, to get rid of that tension that's holding you in a normal structural position. And there are many, many ways of doing that. Um, some osteopaths use uh, techniques that are similar to massage. Um, some use techniques of articulation where you're gently, rhythmically putting a joint through its paces, taking it through its range of motion. Um, Sometimes uh, the clicking manoeuvres, where the hands move very fast uh, and it clicks a joint to restore the joint's mobility, that can be a technique that osteopaths use. In my practice, most of what I use is called cranial osteopathy, which sounds as though it would all be to do with the head, which um, is kind of a bit dark, it's a stupid name, but that's the name we're stuck with, because it's not all to do with the head. Um, Cranial osteopathy is called cranial osteopathy because um, it can treat problems of the head, um, whereas other kinds of osteopathy tend not to be able to treat those sorts of problems. What you're working with is that the whole body should be expanding and contracting in a very gentle, rhythmical fashion. So things that you've got two of tend to roll in and then start to roll out again in a movement which is very like breathing um, but is actually independent of breathing. It happens at about somewhere between 8 and 12 cycles a minute. And what you're doing is you're feeling, well, how is this body moving? 
And in the ideal, it'll be moving in a nice symmetrical way, the left and the right perfectly balanced with each other. But that's rarely what happens. What you usually find is that one side is moving much more than the other, that there's a bit of a twisting going on, so that the, the body is, is held in a pattern of distortion. And what you're doing with your hands is very gently helping the body to find a way to shift itself, to settle into symmetry again. And when that happens, when you find symmetry, the body actually starts to self-regulate itself again because it uses this movement as a kind of natural blueprint, a way of, of being aware of itself. Um, because if we were completely static, um, there would be no change in the body. And the body can only actually register change. Um, it doesn't know where it is. It knows where um, it defines itself by motion. Um, and that's what the cranial rhythmic impulse that's what we call this expansion and contraction in the body. That's what it's all about. Um, and the beauty of the cranial techniques is that you can use them with literally anyone. Um, no one is too elderly. No one is too infirm. No one's too young. Um, I treat babies from when they're hours old um, right through the whole spectrum of life. Um, children, teenagers, adults, uh, people who work in sedentary occupations, um, athletes, uh, sports people, dancers, uh, acrobats, uh, even contortionists. Um, there are just everybody um, may be helped by the techniques that I use, the cranial osteopathy and the other kinds of osteopathy which I also use when it's appropriate to so I hope that this video perhaps gives a little bit of insight into um, what I do um, and the kind of techniques I use. Um, if you're seeing this video then um, you're probably either seeing it on YouTube or you're seeing it direct from my website. Um, the address on my website, uh, for my website rather, will come up at the end of the, the film. And if you'd like to know more, have a look at the website. There's lots of information on there. Um, and obviously, contact me if um, you'd like to ask a question. Thanks very much. Bye.